Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, LA Fashion Week has already started. We kicked off last week, um, or actually, Fashion Week last night with Sue Wong's Jazz Babies collection for spring 2014. Yeah, they do shop that far ahead of time. Spring 2014. Uh -huh. well, meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Mm -hmm. You see this? You're not saying anything anymore. Oh. You just More be licensing? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah. This morning, okay, as one person said, the only per the only people on this planet that didn't know Baynard was going to cave into the president were unborn babies, and they're not really <laughs> certain about that because he basically said, this is really, he said that it's too important to this country that we don't go, uh, we don't, uh, you know, don't pay, that we pay, pay our bills. And when he said that, he lost any leverage he had with the president whatsoever. The president has won the battle without giving a single thing. Oh, it is, oh, what, oh, what does Flea say? Flea said he did make the concession the very afternoon after you were no longer able to file petitions for his removal from office. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing that that would happen right afterwards? Mm -hmm. And Democrat McAuliffe, uh, <laughs> that's light edge of Virginia governor's race poll. That's McAuliffe. That's the McAuliffe. Guy. That was the head of the Democratic Party, which means he's not going to win the governorship of a, of a red state. That doesn't happen because this guy is a supporter of Obamacare in a state where they hate. Okay, they, they've only listed as nine people signing up for Obamacare in the state. Mm -hmm. So he's not going to win in that state running on, you've got to do this. Mm -hmm. no. And former Detroit mayor braces for long sentence. They said he got the longest corruption sentence in the history of corruption. They sentenced him to 29 year, 28 years with no parole. For okay, he helped spend my here. The thing is, they said if if they hadn't had Democrat, it wasn't controlled by the Democratic Party. A decade ago, they have known what was going on and put a halt to it. I mean, they, they I mean, we're talking it's so corrupt that a judge yesterday uh, per permitted the city to issue checks that people were never entitled to to begin with because it's been being done for 20 years. Mm -hmm. So why not continue it? Well, like they said, that, yeah, I love it. They said that uh, that basically the the check that they're going to issue is as good as a refund check on the Titanic. And Mercy faces trial as U.S. reviews aid to Egypt. Yeah, uh, Obama says to get the aid back, you're going to have to put the Muslim Brotherhood back in control, uh, which the entire country rose up against them and threw them out of office. This was an uprising. What a okay. Remember when the Soviets. Uh, People rose up against the government and tossed the Soviets out. Where mm -hmm. Obama is basically supporting the Soviets. Uh, in, in, in a Muslim country, they generally don't have a democratic uprising that works. And Obama's trying to make certain it doesn't work by putting the bad guys back in charge again. And U.S. and Vietnam signed nuclear trade agreement. Okay, folks, they don't have nuclear weapons in Vietnam. It's not likely that they're ever going to have the technology for nuclear weapons in Vietnam. So for Kerry to sign an agreement saying that they're going to not develop nuclear weapons in return for money, I mean, this guy is a, I mean, one, one, one of the Democrats said, I love it, on both sides of the issue, what's wrong with this man? That's mm -hmm. what both sides, signing a nuclear disarmament treat, treaty with a country that's never going to have a nuclear program. And risk lurks if dish majority shareholder grips power. Oh yeah, they're basically um, the majority stockholders are trying to take control of the of the dish pro a dish system. They said if they their ideas are to sell off the assets of the company to and then uh, and, and put the company out of business because they just want to sell it to make money because there's lots of they own satellites they own it's it's not dish is worth the much as the Echo Star, which is basically the satellite launch company. And Libyan ex-rebel group says it arrested PM. Yeah, and, and because he's a pro-democracy person, so, and but don't worry, it was done because of what Obama did. He came into the country illegally, grabbed somebody illegally, and hit, has him on a boat out in the ocean illegally. And, and uh, because if he brings him to shore anywhere in the anywhere but in Guantanamo or the United States, there are people are going to be greeted with authorities. They're going to impound all of them. So 
So what they did, they simply grabbed the country's prime minister and teach the United States a lesson. Mm -hmm. And Grand Prix of Houston crash injures 15. Oh, I know, Dario Franchini, who we met, basically... Oh, is that who got it? He went Franchini? airborne and basically hurt a lot of people. Well, those fences, um, oh. it, 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 they said it was like shrapnel coming through those fences. We've been on those things. Oh, and my it's, God. It's so, a, wait, 15 got injured. Everybody's okay? Uh, a lot of, most of them were seriously injured. He, he's he got broken vertebrae, a broken oh, foot. Uh, skull fracture. Well, it's bad enough that his, um, you know, soon-to-be ex-wife, um, you know, the actress, basically. Why do you say soon-to-be ex-wife? Well, because she's divorcing him. Because he wants, she wants to run. She wants to be. Uh, the, oh, she wants to run for Congress. Yeah, she wants to run for Senate. She wants to run for, uh, uh, you know, the Senate Majority Leader's job. So, but uh, so she she went there, and you know, and and. So well, it would look bad if she's not there and he's in serious condition because she's running for office now. Mm -hmm. And Cameron says Britain should not ban Islamic face veils. Even though all the other countries in Europe are banning Islamic... Okay, Cameron's been on the wrong side of every issue in Europe at the moment. I mean, this well, guy... I mean, isn't the reason why they ban it is because the same reason you can't wear a mask? Yeah. I mean, it's not... It, it, it's nothing to do with racism. Be, you can't or wear veils into Las Vegas, folks, because they don't permit it. And Caribbean drug trade rises under a new generation of cocaine cowboys. Oh, yeah. Uh, why is all of this doing well? Oh, what is her, and this is Flea Obama. It's because it's cheaper than the stuff the government's going to let you buy. It's just, you know, why the booze trade did. Okay, people think prohibition stopped the sale of alcohol. No. It heavily licensed the sale of alcohol to where it was costing you more money to buy the stuff than it was to illegally bring it into the country. And what they're doing now, Obama and others want to, they want to make uh, drugs so expensive that they force people into buying it on the streets again, which is defeating. And black colleges push U.S. Congress to revoke student aid changes. Well, yeah, because they said it's hurting us. And you can't do that because we're entitled. So don't worry. If you're white, uh, if you're white, you're Asian, and you're not Latino and black, you can expect to get you're going to expect harder regulations. But if you're Latino and black, don't even worry about it because you don't have to pay your bills back. Oh, just like the illegal immigrants. Yeah. Yeah. And ACLU files complaint against Border Patrol in Arizona. Well, they said that they're being overly hard on people that are coming into our country illegally because the President of the United States said that you can't touch these people anymore, mm -hmm. which means you can't, one of the guys said, all I did was threw him back across the border. <laughs> so, and, uh, and once he's across the border, that's their problem. Mm -hmm. An Austrian party set to renew Grand Coalition after election slap. Yeah, they're trying to, uh, what happens is they busted the country um, they, they bait and they can't uh, can't do enough taxes, so now they're going to have to do another big grand coalition to try to stay in power. And they, well, we're we're going to talk about cutting taxes that we raised on people that chased all the businesses out of our country. Mm -hmm. And Austria's governing coalition slips in elections. I know. Well, yeah, because they they, they <laughs> you, you raise taxes on people that don't have any money, they can throw you out of office, which is the big deal. Is Merkel in Germany won the greatest election majority since Adolf Hitler. At the same time, they run a parliamentary system in which her party lost most of its seats. So they're trying to figure, her party lost most of its seats as she had the greatest election since Hitler? They find that hard to believe. And Russia's Sochi games, why well, you may want to leave your laptop at home. Oh yeah, because they're basically, they, they they're retaliating against the NSA thing. So if you take your computer with you to go cover the Olympics, you're going to get screwed. They're going to... Why are they calling it Sochi Games? Because that's where the game is being held. That's the oh. city is being held. So. Okay. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, uh, okay. That uh, if everybody knows something is going to happen and it happens, it's not really a surprise.